YouTube, we are back with another fitness video for you today. Today's workout is a 25 minute bar workout. So what you're gonna need for this workout is either a chair or a countertop, something to hold on to. As an optional add-on for this workout, you can use hand weights in your free hand that's not holding onto the bar. You'll notice I'm not holding anything. I would recommend one to three pounds. You do not need any dance experience to perform this workout and feel free to take breaks and make adjustments where you need to. All right, so let's get into our warm up, and then we'll head to the bar. Have a great workout, everybody. We're going to start with our feet nice and wide and the toes turned out, drawing the belly up and in and finding a nice steady breath as we start to reach the arms up and over the head and then down towards the ground as we plie or bend the knees. Inhale as you reach up, exhale as you fold down over the legs. Notice how we are using our upper body and our neck, gazing up to the ceiling and then down to the floor. Tons and tons of breath here. Keep tapping into your core, drawing the belly button to spine every time and drawing those knees nice and straight. Reach the arms out to the side on straight legs. Let's start to fold into our side bend, going right and going left folding from the spine and reaching the crown of the head nice and long, standing on strong, tall legs. Good job. See if you can bend a little deeper each time. Pause here, turn the toes forward, and let's find a flat back position, reaching the arms into a Y shape. Bend the knees, draw the elbows in towards the hips. Good, keep that back nice and flat. Keep the belly drawing up from the floor. Bend the knees and pull the elbows in. Stretch and reach into your Y. Good, bend and stretch. Reach the arms out into a flat back and then reach that left hand across to right foot. Take a stretch and then right foot reaches across to left foot. Open up the chest, stretch it out. Take the hands behind the back, stretch out those shoulders as you fold forward. Shake the head and neck. All right, let's roll up to standing and let's find ourselves at the bar. We're gonna stand with our heels together and toes apart and reach our arm out to the side. This is a four count motion. Plie, draw the arm down, pop the heels as you draw the arm forward, lift the heels, arm comes up and heels lower, arm comes back out to the side. So we go plie, pop, knees stretch, heels lower. Plie, pop the heels, knees stretch, heels lower. Arm is moving in a circular motion and we'll do a number of repetitions here. Really pop the heels high to get a good toe stretch. And let's settle into our pop tail position with bent knees and start to pulse. Getting into those quads, getting into those legs, keep drawing that belly up and in and finding excellent posture in the upper body, knitting the ribs together. Option of floating your other hand off the bar here and challenging your balance that much more. Pulse it out for three, two, and one. Drawing those arms up overhead and pulsing it out here. Good work, find your bar. Drop the heels down to the floor and let's repeat in this position. Heels drop, heels lift, heels drop, heels lift. Adding the arm, open and close, open and close. Good job. See if you can keep a relaxed jaw here. All right, let's stretch out those knees, come high up onto the toes, lift the hand off the bar and take a balance here for five seconds. Good, lower those heels down and take a little stretch. Shake out the feet. Stretch out your calf muscles. And we're about to take that same sequence on the other side, but with the feet apart this time. So we had our heels together before. Now our heels are gonna be wide apart, wider than your hips. Mm -hmm. Finding your bar here, opening that arm out to the side. We have plie, pop, stretch the knees and lower the heels. Plie, pop, stretch the knees, lower the heels. Adding your arm in coordination going in that circular motion. Feeling long and lengthened through the back, through the back of the neck, belly button draws into spine, rib cage knits closed, 
And when we stretch the knees, the knees pull up into the quads. Good job. Let's pause in that plie position, pop the heels, and find a pulse here. Heels popped nice and high, pulsing down, 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 pressing those knees back to activate the glutes. Great job. Add that opening and closing of the arm. Really feeling the back of the shoulder work. And if you're using that arm weight, feel free to take a break. Put the weight down if it's getting too heavy. Keep going, you're almost there. Great, lower those heels down. And let's do some repeats here. Heels pop and lower. Heels pop and lower. Arm coming in and out. You can think of all the arm movements as optional add-ons. Let's focus on getting those legs first. Good, pop the heels. Let's take our balance here. Three, two, and one. Stretch the knees, balance at the top. Belly button to spine. And lowering everything down. Great job. Let's pause for that calf and ankle stretch once again. Let's take a moment and have a figure four stretch with the right foot crossed over the left knee, using your bar for balance. And same thing on the left, opening up those hips as we get warmer and more into our workout. We're switching back over to the other side. I've got my right hand on the bar. I've got my left foot forward and my right foot back in a nice wide stance. And we're gonna find a double lunge here, both knees lunging to 90 degrees. Good, bring this back to a retire position. Front foot, toe connects to the knee. We pulse three times and we come back to our retire position. Three, two, one, and balance. Three, two, one, and balance. Really get that toe connected to the knee every time with a tall back. Good, nice wide stance for the legs. I shift my hand along my bar with me. Good, a couple more repetitions of this cycle. And get ready, let's take the other hand off the bar, balancing here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Readjust yourself on your bar if you need to. And from this retiree position, we kick out and in, activating the quad. Adding your arm if you can. Really get a nice straight knee. I'd rather you have a lower leg and a straighter knee. Adding on from here, we add a plie on the supporting leg. Plie, stretch, and straighten and bend. Lots of coordination going on. Don't worry if it's tricky at first, you will get it. Good, moving on from here, from this retiree position, we open and close the knee, bringing the hip with us. So feeling active rotation from the back of the hip and the back of the shoulder as we open and close back to parallel. Really feel your inner thighs as you come back to that parallel retire. Open and squeeze inner thighs like you're juicing a lemon between your thighs. Pause in the open position. Let's take a balance here. Hand comes off the bar. Three, two, and one. Nice work, everybody. Shake out those legs. Make sure to keep breathing. Let's go right into our other side. It's left hand on the bar. Right foot forward, left foot back. We find that pulsing double lunge. Getting into those legs. Really feel the inner thighs squeezing together once again and stepping back to your retire position. Here we go. Pulsing three, two, and one. Step back, retire. Three, two, and one. On to one leg. We have got a light grip on the bar. Fingertips just grazing the bar and moving with you easily along the bar. Can you keep less tension in the shoulders and neck? Even try giving the head a shake now and then just to make sure you're not tensing up across your shoulders. Good work. And let's get ready to pause and hold for a little balance on one leg, taking that hand off the bar as quickly as you can. How quickly can you react? Knitting the rib cage closed, open those arms and release. Good. From our retiree position, we kick out and back in. Active quad. Out and in, out and in with the coordination of the arm. It was a hot day that day, and boy, I was sweating by this point. Good. Add your bend and straightening of the supporting leg. Working leg is in the air, supporting leg is on the ground. 
Nice. Here we go, into our hip openers, rotating your retiri position, open and close. Open and closed. Three. And two. And one. Great job. Pausing in that open position, take that other hand off the bar as an option to challenge your balance once again. You got it. Shake out those legs. We're moving into a little cardio break. So coming off our bar, starting with some plank jacks. You're going to find your plank position and you're going to jack your feet open and close. See the bottom right corner of the screen for a modified option, just going one leg at a time and we'll stay here for about 30 seconds. Getting our heart rate nice and high. Make sure you're breathing to support that heart rate as it comes up. Keep up the good work. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds, three, two, and one. Moving on to cardio exercise round two of two. We're going to do two little jumps with our feet together, jumping open to a wide squat as we tap the floor with alternating hands each time. Jump, jump, squat, jump, jump, squat. Once again, we're here for 30 seconds, mixing in some cardio to our workout, getting that heart rate up, getting that breathing rate up. You're doing great, keep it up. 10 more seconds. And again, check out the bottom left hand portion of the screen to see a modification of this exercise. Yes. Come on. Almost there. Thumbs up, y'all. We are making our way through. We are about halfway through our workout. Grab a sip of water before we continue on at our bar. Getting into some side body work now. Let's start with our right hand on the bar with our toes turned out and we're crossing our left leg behind our right leg to come into a curtsy lunge. We're going to lean towards our bar and then we're going to kick our left knee up to the side, drawing our left elbow down behind the knee. So we're very much using our side body, curving towards the bar and then towards our leg as we kick up. Let your hip feel nice and loose and make sure you're really crossing that curtsy lunge behind, challenging those inner thighs to really cross over. This is a full body exercise. You are really gonna feel the burn and feel a little bit of cardio when you're doing this exercise as well. Give me three more repetitions here. And then I want you to find a pause at the top for a moment here. Really crunch into that side body and let it go. Rotating the body, standing on the right leg, bending into the right leg and stretching the left leg long. Start to kick the reaching leg up and drawing that reaching arm elbow down towards the knee. Big side kick. Staying in a bent supporting leg. Again, using the upper body, using those obliques and core along with the legs. This is hard, the leg does not have to come this high. Breathe. Find that nice long side bend. Now we're just using the upper body to bring ourselves upright and then leaning back towards the bar. Coming up and leaning over. Up and leaning over. So much core work here. Make sure you're drawing that belly button to the spine and holding that belly nice and strong to support the back. Externally rotating the reaching leg as well. Great job. We're gonna take a leg stretch, taking that outside left leg, finding the heel or the calf, stretching the leg forward, and then stretching it out to the side. We're working up to this fully stretched position. Feel free to hold onto the back of the leg instead of the ankle. Great work team, let's turn around, let's get our left hand on the bar. Let's turn those toes out again, find that curtsy lunge position, lean towards your bar, and then kick that right knee up to draw your right elbow down. Getting into that side bend as you kick over, getting into those obliques. I think about drawing my right shoulder down towards my right knee. Lots of action, lots of mobility in the spine, and lots of power from the legs.
Good work. Let's get three more repetitions here. And then let's hold at the top of the kick and squeeze for three, two, and one. Good, getting over into our bent leg, side bend, reaching on that diagonal, and then kicking that side leg as you draw your elbow down to knee. Once again, spine is moving. Try not to have a death grip on your bar like I do here. <laughs> Try to have a light grip on the bar. Just use it for a little bit of balance support. So much breath, so much rotation of the reaching leg. Turn that kneecap up towards the ceiling. Good, release the arm from the bar and use your torso to bring yourself upright and back into side bend. Tons of work through the core and obliques here. And that standing leg is burning. Breathe, support those muscles. Good, let's let that go. And let's take that leg stretch on the right leg, reaching it forward and then reaching it out to the side. Awesome job, my friends. We are making our way. We're gonna come into an upper back and arm sequence here. Knees are bent and we're folded over at the hips into a hip hinge position. We're going to row the elbows and then fly the shoulders. Row, fly, row, fly. And once again, adding in those arm weights here if you so desire. You can take this slower if you're holding more weight. I'm just going quickly because I have no weight. Pause in that fly position, let's pulse through the upper back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Pulse, 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 pulse. Long neck, really keep the head up in line with the spine, try not to let the head drop below the shoulders. Great job, rotate those arms around, palms come up to the ceiling as the elbows go beside your body, and we tap for the triceps. Backs of the shoulders working here, tap, tap, tap. Almost there. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and let's let those shoulders go. We're coming down to the floor now into a push-up series. Take the hands underneath the shoulders, drop the knees to the floor if you like. Elbows squeeze into the rib cage as you find your tricep push-up. Down and up. Here we go. We're here for 12. Almost there. Yes. You got this. Breathe. It's three, two, and one. Push back. Find a downward dog position. And then step those feet in and come back up to standing. Quick water break. Maybe you're doing this workout outside in the heat like I was that day. Oh my God, it was sweaty. The salt was in my eyes and all of it. We are coming into the final third of our workout. We're getting into some back body work here, some glute work. So let's find our right hand on the bar once again, bending into our right leg, stepping our left toes back long and finding this long diagonal line, reaching the hand up towards the ceiling and then stepping that back foot in to match the underneath leg. The glute is working hard as you step back. Make sure you really Choose to turn on the glute as you step that foot back, trying to find that nice long diagonal line from fingers to toes. Good, let's pause with our leg extended. We're going to go lift, tap, and bring it back in. Tap, lift, tap, and return. Tap, lift, tap, and return. Coordinating that arm through an elbow row position, Super active glutes. Let's pause in that lifted position, and then you're drawing that knee up and through to find your retire position. Reach the leg, find a flat back. Retire on a straight supporting leg. Supporting leg bends and straightens as you reach back and pull the knee through. Reach back, pull the knee through. 
Once again, a challenging compound full body exercise. Take breaks when you need it. Pausing in your flat back, let's remove the arm from the bar and balance here. Good, draw that knee up and through, balancing in your retiree position. You got this, nice transition work there. Good job. We're gonna get into some calf work here. Heels and toes tight together. Again, using your bar for balance support, lifting and lowering those heels without bending the knees. Up and down, up and down. Good, let's take this a little quicker here. Up and down, up and down. Breathing lots. Starting to feel that burn in the calves. You got this. Good. Lift the heels and hold. Find a balance for three, two, and one. Let's remove the left toes. Balancing on the right. And switch. Balancing on the left. Use your bar here if you need to. Great job. Nice, strong ankles. Let's just bend the knees. Take a little ankle stretch. And then we'll shift around and find our glute work on the other side. It's left hand on the bar, right foot reaches back, left knee is bent. We reach long and pull in, finding that diagonal line, reach and pull, reach and pull. The core is strong, the glute is active. It won't activate on its own, so you really have to think about your glute as you reach that foot back. Keeping the head in line with the spine as we do. Long back of the neck. Good, moving into tap, lift, tap, and return. Tap, lift, tap, and return. Coordinating your arm as you go. Good, let's take three more repetitions here. Awesome work, everyone. Keep it up, you're so close. Let's find that balance with the leg reaching back. And let's draw the knee up and through to retire and return to that long reaching position. Supporting leg bends and straightens. Arm reaches forward and then out to your side. This is such hard work. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Almost there. Breathe in. Let's pause in that leg lifted position. Let's remove the left hand from the bar. And then with control, draw that right knee up and through to find your retire position on your balance. Nice job, the leg comes down. And we'll move into our second and final cardio break. We're going to do what I call a ballet burpee, starting in plank position, jumping the feet out wide, and then reaching the arms out to the side before you bring your hands back down and jump back to plank. It goes hands, plank, squat, arms reach. Hands, plank, squat, and reach. This is hard work. Cardio coming up, heart rate coming up. Make sure you breathe to support. 15 more seconds here. Awesome job, team. Pause in this wide squat position. We're going to start to flap the knees back, 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 like little butterfly wings, activating through the glutes. For three and two and one, soften the knees and then stretch them out to the side. Reach that left hand up and over, take a side bend. We're cooling down now. Keep reaching that left hand for the floor as you rotate into your nice long lunge. Let's reach the left hand up and over. Find a side bend while you're in this lunge position, lengthening everything out. And then reaching that right arm up and over for the opposite side bend. Rotate the knees open. And find your back knee down to the floor. Elbows bend. Good, shifting back, straighten out that front leg, folding onto the leg for a nice hamstring stretch. And then shifting back into your lunge, tucking the back toes and stepping the right foot back to meet the left, coming through your downward dog. 
Good, slowing the breathing as we cool down here. Step both feet in and roll up. We'll reach the arms out to the side as we face forward and side bend over with that right arm, rotating everything to come down into a nice long lunge. Breathing here. Nice job, reach that right arm up and over, find a nice long side bend. Good, reach that left arm up and over. I love a combination of a lunge and a side bend together. Good, drop the back knee, rotate the front knee open and lower the elbows to the floor. Nice job, hinging back from the hips, folding over the leg. Finding a nice long spine, long hamstring. The breath is real nice and slow now. Step that left foot back to meet the right and find your downward dog position once again. Rotate and shake out the head and neck here. Reach the heels for the floor, enjoy a nice calf stretch. And then step the feet in to meet the hands. Just rotate your body forward, turn the toes out Sit the hips low between the heels. Drop the right hand to the floor, rotate the left fingertips up to the sky. And same thing on the other side. Taking that side body rotation. Good, point the toes forward, fold forward onto the legs, and then gradually roll your spine up to standing. And that is it, your workout is complete. Great job, I hope you got a nice sweat on, I hope you're feeling long and worked and conditioned. Definitely click that like button if you made it all the way through to the end of the workout and subscribe. It's super helpful for the channel and I appreciate you being here once again. We'll see you in the next video, y'all.